have something here that I think you guys are gonna wanna see. If you guys have a telescope, you're gonna wanna see this. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescopes. Now, let's see what we have here. So I just had this custom ordered. Put this box over here. Okay, let me just go back one second. You guys know I've done two videos now, the last two was about, could I alter the Takahashi focuser? Because on that model is just a single speed. Some people like those original items from whatever company, and a lot of Takahashi people are like that. They like the original Takahashi focusers, but I just like the dual speed. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you guys, and I know some of you guys are actually thinking about something like this right now. So, those last two videos was, you know, I altered it and then I tested it. It did work, but it, it didn't always reach focus with an eyepiece, okay? Unless I put the bottom of the Barlow lens, inch and a quarter eyepiece, then it worked. But remember, then I'm multiplying 1.5 times. So for higher power, can work. For lower power, not sure it's gonna work. Recapping, I don't wanna spend another $700 like I did uh, it was more than 700 $713, I believe, on a Moonlight dual speed focuser for that 102 TSA Takahashi. And Feather Touch could even be much more. Uh, focusers, you know, are really important. And the reason is, if you have a good quality lens, you know, the only other item on your telescope that actually solves a big issue and is a big issue is the focuser. It has to be smooth, it has to be delicate, it has to carry enough weight. So that is the second most important thing on your focuser. Now, a lot of companies, you have to upgrade them. And this is where it can cost as much as a whole telescope depending what you want. So I didn't want to go to Moonlight. Well, Moonlight doesn't even sell a manual version anymore. So the electronic version, it would be more, It'd probably be closer to $900, uh, if not even more. Feather Touch is also, I love that brand too, but it's very expensive. It can go up to like $1,500, depending on which model, which make, how, um, much focus it does and for what telescope and adapter plate, uh, that's Canadian. So they are very expensive. So I found, and I know you guys are gonna like this, is the Antares brand, dual speed focuser. Now I'll put some pictures up so you can see. There's many uh, different styles of these as well. Um, there's some for refractors, reflectors, and depending what size refractor you have. And, and so they, there's so, a lot of different models. Now, I called Antares, and you guys probably know that as a Canadian company uh, made out of uh, BC. And the same like every other make, Mead Celestron, Orion, Skywatcher, Explorer Scientific. They don't make their own focusers and things like that. They get them from a company that makes them and they alter them to their specifications or their telescopes and then they sell it. So Glenn Spears, that's where the um, eyepieces come from and that's where Antares comes from. So same thing, he gets, his is the Antares brand. He gets them made for him um, and his focusers. Now, if you guys have regular focusers, and what I mean by regular, if you have a telescope that's made by Mead and Explorer Scientific, they make a model specifically for that. And it's similar to this one, where it has a lip and it goes over the tube, okay? Now, there's the other ones that just have the three holes, 
like a normal focuser uh, by Orion, Skywatcher, and Celestron. Those are a different style of focuser. It goes inside the tube of the telescope. The Explorer Scientific and Mead goes over the tube, okay? If you guys have any of those name brands, it is very easy. They make specific ones. You don't need a special adapter plate. You don't need anything. You just pop out, you unscrew it. Uh, usually it's just three screws at 120 degrees apart. You just unscrew it, put the new one on, screw it, you're done. Now, for some model names like the Takahashi, they use a thread. So you need a custom-made plate for it. Um, and I think others like maybe William Optics and Tech Astrophysics, um, you know, the big name brands, you have to get a specific focuser, even or, or if it's the same focuser, but you need a specific adapter plate that has to be custom made to your telescope. So my moonlight that I had, had to have a special uh, focus. Now, again, I didn't want to spend over 700 on something. Now, this looks like, have you guys heard of the long purring? L-O-N-G, P-E-R-N-G. They make some good medium high end, not as good as the Moonlight and Feather Touch, but for everybody else that doesn't need those two name brands, Explore Scientific also has a problem with their focusers. Most people that buy a telescope or refractor, they change it. Um, the Evo Star is about 50-50. Uh, visual people will change them. If you're imagers, maybe 90% at least or even higher change it. So wanted to try this one. It's very well made. This is your locking nut. This is your rough focus, your fine focus. And then there's your draw tube. Uh, so I thought this focuser is probably going to be a better match than the original Takahashi uh, single speed. I just like dual speed. So I just received it and Glenn did a great job. It took a little while to customize this because he customized it for me. Now, I know that Antares sells their name brand focusers, all the different models for reflectors, refractors and Dobsons and all that. Canadian dealers uh, have these and so does, you know, the American dealers have these as well. Uh, the only thing I don't know is if those dealers can get special made these adapter plates or maybe they probably call Glenn and say I need this type of adapter plate for this scope he makes it ships it to the dealer and you get it so if you guys want to try this again this is not your Evo Star type of focuser okay this is like medium grade uh, one so I'm hoping this is going to be a lot better now it was a little bit stiff but you can correct it or make it smoother by just the middle one over here is all that you really need to do. Just the middle one gives it less friction, but so it was smooth, but with a little bit of tension. So again, if you want more tension, if you have a lots of astro gear hanging off your focuser, diagonal, filter wheel, whatever, um, then you can just, just have to do that one in the middle. And you also got your locking nut, which I have it at zero, no tension at all. So um, to me, seems very good, very smooth. Now the, let me see if I can show it to you. It does have the brass teeth, so it is a rack and pinion. Um, now I like rack and pinion better. And the reason is because I feel like the teeth are better than like the Crayford focuser. Now I'm not saying the Crayford is bad. If you make a very good quality Crayford focuser like the Moonlight, then it's good because it can hold a bearings. But people who are fanatic about focusers would still say the Feather Touch is still better and it can hold more, it's more smoother. So, but in general, uh, I would say I prefer the rack and pinion. Oh, I'm not sure if you can kind of see it. The uh, teeth are on an angle. And that's an added bonus. And the reason is, if the teeth are like the cheaper rack and pinions that come on inch and a quarter, if they're slotted this way, uh, straight, it's easier to slip than with the teeth on an angle. So it puts more friction, even if you have the locking nuts and everything loose. It holds it a little bit better this way on a 
45 angle versus a straight. So I'm not sure if you guys thought of that or maybe you have, but I like that. You could also see, let me see if I can show it to you guys. So there's the roller, one roller, two roller, and there's the third roller. So it's like Crayford, which has these nice rollers, but then it also has, it has the rack and pinion over here too. It is a little different than I'm used to. There is one more thing I wanted to show you guys, or maybe two more things, let's say. It only has about two inches of travel. That's about it. But I think the reason why, but this screw here, you can, whatever, like if you need an extra, if you think the focus is there, you can slip clutch it to here, and then you have about, again, your two inches of travel. If you think you need more, you slip that out, tighten it, and that type of thing. If you need it all the way, that's how far it goes. And then you can have your two inches of travel that way. You know, so it's a little different. Most telescopes will come fixed, meaning that it's going to have two inches of travel if that's the version you pick. There's three inches of travel. I think the most I've seen is about five inches of travel, which is a lot. Um, but this one kind of gives you the slip clutch. You choose whatever you think you need. Tighten it down and then you got your two inches of travel up and down or back and forth technically, right? So that's it. Now, I can't really say it feels good. It looks good. Um, it, that slip clutch, I'm not used to. I, I, I don't know if it, if it works in the field. Uh, I don't want to say And until I test it. These are coming in at about half the price, roughly. I can't say for sure because it depends on which model you're, you're buying with the reflector. Of course, if you're having this like me, I had to get this special plate for the Takahashi. Of course, that adds a little bit more to it. So it depends on which model and what kind of scope you have and maybe what kind of focus you want uh, or travel focus you want. But I think still it's gonna come about half what I paid for uh, the Moonlight, which is a big savings. Now, this does not feel like an Evo Star type of focus and it's not like Explore Scientific focus. This is a, a good focuser. Now, for most people, I would say 80% or even more, this could be all that you need. So if you're looking for a good focuser at a good price, contact Glenn of Sky Instruments, who makes Antares, and he can sell you a focuser. He has dealers in all over Canada, US. I don't really recall if there's any in Europe or anything like that over the pond for of my customers in the UK, Netherlands, Ireland, and all those other countries, Spain, Germany, I think. But anyway, wherever you are, maybe, uh, but I'm sure where you are, there is a uh, version of these that, you know, will suit you. I've read lots of the forums where people don't want to pay, you know, $700, $1,000 more for a focuser. You know, they just want a good focuser. So if you have to replace yours, if it's not really good or if yours only come with the single speed or if yours comes with those older rack and pinion like those acromats that just have those you know the two inch rack and pinion it's not that great and you want to upgrade to something good being again this is a celestron skywatch or orion brand you just have to undo the three screws and they make one specifically for that now i've tried some Crayford, lower quality, the, the entry level, dual speed, you know, and those you'll pay, Canadian, again, uh, like 230 bucks, 250 bucks with tax. And they kind of are not great at all. You know, put a two inch diagonal, two inch eyepiece, and boom, those ones. Uh, I've had problems with those. So, you know, maybe you pay an extra hundred dollars for something like this, it's better quality, it's better made, it's machined, uh, you know, and you're just gonna be way happier and it's gonna carry the load. So I have to test it. Now, 
on the next video, which, which I'm sorry guys, is only for the members video. I'm going to install this on the Takahashi. We'll look at the original focuser, we'll look at this one, and then I'll actually test it in the daytime, in the nighttime, and I'll give you my final words. So again, that's it. So if you guys want to see that video, why aren't you guys subscribed to the members video, the Patreon? It's only 99 cents once a month. I make a video once a month specifically for you guys that's not on the regular part of the channel. And I put your name in this description. So why not now? do it now? Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. If you know anybody getting in the hobby, share my link. If you're on the forums and maybe somebody asked about something like this, maybe you can share my video with them and ask if they considered going to something like this. Okay, regardless if they have like this telescope, the old rack and pinion, and just buying a bottom quality dual speed Crayford that's probably going to slip. Uh, why not spend maybe a hundred dollars more and you're getting a good quality focuser? And then that's that's it. Why not you? Why not me? And I'll see you guys with the conclusion. If I like this guy and does it work well on the Takashi, on the members. Hope to see you guys there.